morning everyone we're just gonna go and fix the fast track because as you know in my last video it's been broken we're just gonna swap it over now it's fixed the fast track's fixed now it has been on the 185 but we're swapping it back thank goodness for that just having to go very very slowly because of the flat here this whole field's a bit like this because the weather the rain has uh, flattened it down I mean, we are harvesting a little bit later than we would have liked, but we haven't been able to get on due to the rain. And obviously, wheat is a very, um, it's a more profitable crop, so tend to get that off first uh, than the rye. I just, Dan just hit his head on the, fell off the combine when he was putting the diesel away and it went all dizzy, but he's okay now, thankfully. Um, so, we're off combining. Fifth time lucky, let's hope we can get it off. Look how flat it is though, it's really not good, is it? Uh, I'm on green cut, my 185 is a bit noisier, as I said again, because of my back window. Normally have a latch just here, but um, I lost it. Oops. My radiators are blocked. What a silly mistake to forget to blow them out. <laughs> here comes Jack with the chaser. He's happy now he's got the fast track back. He comes up the green. He's so comfortable. I get a bad back when I sit in the fast track for a long period of time. But it is comfortable over the bumps compared to the John Deere. But I suppose it's just what we're used to. So here he comes. Well, that's a positive. The first bit's going in. Yeah, I've just had a little block up. Mum's in there, <laughs> emptying me. Um, but it's not a lot, but it's going in. They look a little bit like sunflower seeds. We've just stopped. What's going on now? We've not even cut anything yet. Uh oh, <laughs> we've got a blockage. Not again. He's cut literally that. Come on. Oh no. Dan just going to get back in the combine now and just caught that bit. Another blockage. Okay, what's happened this time? Should we count how many times we have to stop? <laughs> Look at the combine picking up the flat, the flat, the flat block. Because the rye's so flat. Dan's having to cut it one way and coming all the way back and cutting it one way again. That's going to take forever. So someone needs a rake, so I'm going to have to drop all three trailers in the field and then take the rake to um, someone that needs it on another farm, come back, swap rakes over, blah, 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 and then come combining again. Look at my pumpkins. They're growing. I mean, they're a little bit patchy, but they've filled out. A lot. And four fuels are here because we go through a lot of diesel this um, during harvest time. Right, where was I? Let's hook this rake on. So you get clean and you put one implement on and your hands turn like this. One implement, whether it's changing a trailer, onto a rake, anything. Oh, so Within two minutes of every day, I'm looking like this. Also, it looks like we've been dumped with a big surprise. Look at that. We've been left with a parcel. Yummy. Thank you. I'll have to go and clear that up now. We're there so quick. There's Jack chasing bales. Still going up and all the way back down. You see him now, he's not cussing because it only cuts one way. <laughs> oh, what a nightmare. It's now six o'clock and we're still cutting it and we still got another field. <laughs> right, let's go and push this right up. It's kind of gone everywhere. I wanted to keep it in one corner, but it's kind of like gone bleh. So excited 
excited. I've had my first booking for my pumpkin patch. I was sat here, really sad because the ride really bad, and I was just having a bad day. And then, um, someone's booked for my pumpkin patch. My first person. Yay! It's so exciting. Um, if you want to come to pick your own pumpkins here at Rockery Farms, I'll put the link below uh, where you can buy your tickets. But I look forward to seeing as many of you as there as possible. We're getting there with the rye. It's taken, it's now 10 o'clock. And it's going easier now at 10 o'clock than it has been all day, apparently. It's coming off at 11% now rather than whatever it was earlier. It just keeps wrapping and still, even in this field, Dan can only go one way. Mind you, he's just trying it this way now, but it's not, it's not the best. Nearly there, nearly done. I'm quite looking forward to going to bed tonight, I'm quite tired. But I think we've got bales to go and fetch, and bits and bobs. <laughs> right, so I need to wake up a little bit and, and then get on with it. A crop, this is a nightmare crop turning into even more of a nightmare. We've literally got a few hundred meters left and um, it's just blocking and blocking and blocking the moisture's dry but i think the straw must have just creaked up in dew a little bit oh we've only got a tidy corner we just want to get it finished off our heads and done it's quarter to 11 and it's pff, still got straw to fetch <laughs> and with this load of straw my trailer away to go and get that other tractor to move the other trailer Now I'm just swapping back to this morning's problem where we were swapping the chaser over I thought we'd uh, put the combining footage first So I'm happy to be back in my tractor we swapped it back off the chaser because we had a problem with the JCB as I said then we got a 7R but it was a thousand pto rather than 540 so it couldn't run the chaser so the 185 went on it and pulled it really well <clears throat> we swapped it back over now though um it was really noisy in the cab because you know when i smashed my window i lost my like window sealer thing like the handle so it's gonna be a bit noisy for a few days dan's back and in the jcb i'm dieseling up and then we're gonna go combining on that rye fifth time lucky hey so we're off to cut the rye for the fifth time lucky. I'm just going to blow my radiator out because obviously it's been on the chaser um, and I bet it's been roaring. So I bet it's quite hot. So I'm going to give it a little blow. Good old screwdriver will let me open it. Push something in this hole. There we go. Two radiators out. Right, blow the rest of it. Leak on my tractor so I had to just come to have a look at it. They came to have a look at a leak under the 8R but they were here so I thought they'd look at mine as well. I'm not sure what was wrong. I'll show you the puddle of oil. This is it. Hmm. There's Ben. Dexter popped in to say hi and have a look at all the machinery while I had a little bit of half an hour downtime so here's a video of Dexter having the ground machinery. And then the grain goes up into the tank. Yeah, so it comes out here. This is normally on the floor down, but we've had to lift it up so we can connect the header to it. Yeah. And then the, the choppers, if we want to chop it instead of the straw, are under there. Yeah, and the choppers just spray us everywhere. They do. It makes a lot of dust, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but the straw also does make a lot of dust. It does, it does. And then obviously the header, this is the connection that I was showing you. This is the PTO. Yeah, that's the PTO. That's it, and all the hydraulics. And this connects up to the PTO. Mm. I tell you what we need to do, Dexter. We need to put this pin in so Dan doesn't go out. Can you put it in? You just have to slide it across. This way, that's it. No. Put it in there and push it down. It's quite hard. That's it, push, push, push. I have, hey, that's it. That's safe to go now. Ah, uh, not quite yet. It's the first side into, and then it yeah, lifts this, it onto the trailer. This comes out, out to the side, as you said. Yeah, and then as you're driving along, the bales yeah. go in, and then it flips it up. Flips it up onto there. Yeah. And then there's a 
chain mm -hmm. on here, the, the bales go slowly to here. Once it stacks there, and then once it's it. a full stack, it yep. moves it back on top here. And then this whole thing lifts up. Yeah. And they can stack it, can't they? It lifts it vertically and then you can go in the barn and stack it. Mm -hmm. It's clever. Yeah. Compress the nozzle to Each. stop these from seizing one. to get the chaff and stuff to go off. Yeah. Connected to a motor, did you say? To, to a hydraulic, hydraulic motor. Hydraulic motor. Yeah. And then you can connect the hydraulic lines up to the transfer. They work most of the time, but sometimes they get blocked with straw and stuff. It's a good idea. So we'll have a bit more uh, with Dexter next time, but thank you again for visiting Dexter. It was really nice to see you. Last time I saw you, I was at the Newbury Show, and don't forget the Newbury Show is soon, and we're doing a big machinery demonstration there, so you'll be able to see that. And I look forward to seeing you all there.